Apple Music's June 30th debut marks a new battle for streaming music supremacy. To compete with the current king Spotify, the love child of iTunes and Dr. Dre's Beats Music will have to deliver more content and connect users to new music. So how do the two services stack up? Spotify's library is about as comprehensive as it gets. 30 million songs in its catalog, plus 20,000 new ones each day. Moreover, Spotify brings all the latest record releases, exclusive Spotify live sessions, and various new singles right to its new releases tab each Tuesday. Apple's new service is reportedly touting around 37 million songs, roughly 7 million more than Spotify's figure. And it integrates users' current iTunes libraries into their Apple Music library. Spotify, on the other hand, relegates your local music files to a separate tab that can't be accessed via broad searches. Radio is where Apple Music is aiming to take the lead out of the gate, and it appears they'll do just that. The introduction of Beats One, a 24-hour live radio station helmed by Apple's all-star DJ Zane Lowe, adds the human element back to streaming music curation. Spotify's radio function provides an automatically curated listening experience. It doesn't get very creative when it comes to selecting music, sticking to generally popular tunes. And it tends to focus mostly on music from a station's headline artist. When it comes to discovery, Spotify helps listeners find new music with both playlist sharing and curated playlists sorted by mood and genre. That gives you 32 base genres with 20 to 30 playlists in each genre. For Apple Music, Beats One Radio will obviously play a major role in music discovery. Apple has also integrated Siri into the experience and it offers individually curated playlists in the For You section. So what does it all cost? Apple Music and Spotify are both 10 bucks a month, which is the industry standard. And to appeal to families, Apple is also offering a group subscription with up to six individual accounts for $15 a month. Not to be left out, Spotify plans on offering a similar family plan. To bring in an initial subscriber base, Apple is giving every subscriber three months of Apple Music for free. However, and this is key, Apple does not have a free ad-based tier like Spotify, which is a big reason the company was able to corral so many users in the first place. 